Hello, Brie Larson. Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, we're out at Walmart. Uh, it's pretty dead. I'm kind of just out for the night doing stuff. So here, this is an impromptu Blu-ray pickup because Captain Marvel came out, I don't know, this past Tuesday. I was busy, I didn't get around to picking it up. So here I am picking it up. I'm also looking around, I got a classic Monsters collection coming with Dracula, Frankenstein, The Mummy, Invisible Man, Bride of Frankenstein, and Wolfman. And I'm looking at Mad Max Fury Road. So we're just wandering around Walmart. I don't know, it's like what, 9.30? It's like 9.30 p.m. on a Sunday. And uh, Walmart's pretty dead. I never really have Walmart like this. Like, look, look at this. <laughs> There's no one here. I feel so free. I feel so liberated. There's no one to bother me. What? <laughs> I found a Spider-Man bike. I had to get on. <laughs> Doesn't fit me as well as when I was a kid. It's not working out very well. Yeah, so this is kind of like a very um, abrupt to spontaneous, kind of like they've all been uh, recently, Blu-ray pickup, where I was out, it's Sunday, uh, picking up some movies, so I thought I'd record while I was at it. The Walmart's really dead tonight, which is awesome. So, uh, right now, we're in the toy aisle. Uh, I've got my brother with me again, as always. Not always, but as I like to sometimes. What the heck is that? It's like, what, what's the point? What's the point of this toy? Oh, it switches eyes. That's, that's fun. That's Ronin Pop figure from Avengers Endgame. <laughs> I mean, it's in the trailer. It's it like... is in the trailer. It's not a spoiler. I do wish we got more of Ronin in Avengers Endgame, though. He was really cool. I would have I liked just a little bit more of Ronin. You mean Hawkeye? But, <laughs> well, he, he goes by Ronin in the movie, and he goes by Ronin on the Pop figure. So. That's pretty cool. Cable. Something about that cable looks like a grandma to me. <laughs> like, look at that cable. I don't know. I think it's the Come hair. Come first cookies. I, <laughs> I think it's the hair. The hair just looks like a grandma to me. I can't take it seriously. Look. And her neck snapped. <laughs> <laughs> her last time was right. Ow. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, man. Look at this. I just don't know what kids are playing with nowadays. I shouldn't complain about the prices, it's rude. That Infinity Gauntlet's pretty sweet. Actually, it's... it's... It's the Allspark? <laughs> Does your hand even go in there? Does it show a picture of a kid with the hand in it? Yeah. Oh. But it's like a kid. Your I don't is... think that would fit my hand. Which is a bummer, because I totally would have bought that. Played with it in my room. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this video even is anymore. We're just talking about toys. Should I get in the cart? It'd be a cool thumbnail. Okay, I'll let's push do it. you around. Because I'm gonna have to get out of this. Alright. There goes my crotch. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good. Oh no, I got bought. <laughs> oh, okay. Watch, watch the corner. There's someone there. That's <laughs> so stupid. Uh, I'm being pushed by my brother, which is a lot of fun times. Alright. Alright, ready? Pick up the speed. I feel the need, the need for speed. Oh boy, I don't trust you anymore. I don't trust you. Ah! All right, guys. So now I'm going to introduce a very special guest for the very first face reveal of. Yeah. So Jordan actually didn't want to do a face reveal after all. So, sorry. My brother Jordan Milne. How's it going, buddy? Good. We're here at Walmart, getting a little creepy, a little weird, a little freaky. Yo. How you feeling? Uh, stupid. You feel stupid? I think we all feel stupid. So the main reason we're here, we're <laughs> so the main reason we're here is to pick up Captain Marvel that came out this past Tuesday. I don't even. This past Tuesday was like two weeks ago. I don't even remember when Captain Marvel came out. It's been so. I'm so behind on it. But uh, let's talk about Captain Marvel for a second. What do you think of this movie? It was okay. It was okay. Yeah. That's all you have to say about it. As we sit in Walmart, the whole domain to ourselves. Well, roughly, there's a guy over there. But. Uh, it's all good. With a he, he really can't. judgeable haircut. <laughs> okay, we don't judge people. We don't judge people. Yeah, we I'm, do. I'm gonna cut that. We do. <laughs> uh, 
But Captain Marvel, you thought it was just okay? Yeah, Brie Larson gave a really good performance. Yeah, I thought she got hated on more than she deserved to. I thought she had a lot of personality as, um, what the heck is her name, Carl? <laughs> <laughs> Carol. Uh, Carol. Her name's Carol. I thought she had a lot of personality as Carol. Uh, she brought a lot of snar snarkiness and attitude to the role. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought she Samuel got... Samuel Jackson always brings Nick Fury's talky role. Yeah, I thought Samuel Jackson as Nick Fury, as a young Nick Fury, was a lot of fun. Really cool to see. Um, spoilers for a second. What do you think about the eye loss? <laughs> Those bad guys still in there somewhere. Ow! Mother lurking! How he lost his eye. Lazy. Lazy? kind of funny. It was... they kept in his, like, mother effer, like, line. In the movie, just yeah, replace I think the f bomb. He, I think with he says Flurkin. Yeah, Mother Flurkin. Mother Flurkin. Really? Or whatever. Which yeah, I it thought was, was really cool. Just the I, the way that he lost it was like, um, kind of lazy. Plus the foreshadowing like earlier, with like, oh, he's just a cat. Yeah. You'll be surprised what happens later. I don't know if I'd say it was lazy, but I would definitely say that it was wasted. Like they used it as a joke when it could have been something really intense and add emotion and more weight to his eye loss like every time you see his his eye patch you would think of the of how it got lost and the weight that was involved with it and as it is it's just played off as a joke a joke that i thought was funny but i would i totally would have done without it I, I didn't need it but yeah as far as the rest of the movie goes i think it's a pretty it's a pretty standard marvel movie i thought it was a lot of fun really cool visuals and action uh what do you think of the scrolls i like them yeah they're actually pretty good I thought they were okay, but uh, yeah, the scrolls I thought were interesting. I, I thought they were marketed to be the bad guys. So when they started having the humor, I thought it was kind of odd. Oh, there's there's some guys coming in here as we as we're talking about Captain Marvel at the Walmart table. Make the makeup plus CG going into the scrolls like look actually was fantastic. I thought the scrolls looked really good too. They did. They they looked really good, like comic ready almost. Yeah. Like they kept with the pointy ears and like the green pale skin. The humor for the scrolls was kind of jarring for me because I wasn't sure where they were doing where they were going with it. And then when I found out where they were going with it, I got more on board with it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Captain Marvel, not a perfect movie, but a really fun uh, addition to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. One that I enjoyed. And uh, so we're picking up today. We might get these. I'm not sure yet. Anyways, uh, let's go to the checkout and let's go buy Captain Marvel. All right, so we're at a Walmart now. Uh, we picked up Captain Marvel. I put back uh, Mad Max Fury Road. I wasn't feeling like getting that today. I don't know. I'm only I, there's only so much I can spend. But uh, I got the classic monsters uh, six movie collection. Uh, I. I've wanted to check these out for a little while now. What is my hair doing right now? Flopping like Donald Trump up here. Um, yeah, I wanted to check them out and they lowered the price so they were really cheap. My hair is just all over the place. Okay, I'm gonna get in the truck and uh, we'll talk more about this. Yeah, so I actually had to take Jordan home. We were out a little bit longer than I expected to be and he has school still tomorrow. He's not done yet, so we had to get home. So here we are back home with Captain Marvel. Uh, yeah, this was really just an impromptu Blu-ray pickup because I hadn't done one in the past week and we were already out and we were buying Captain Marvel so I figured I'd turn the camera on and we were already being really goofy and weird I, I figured we'd capture it on camera but yeah uh, I've just been busy lately these Blu-ray pickups you know they take time they take a lot of energy and I want to make sure that I have a energy when I do them so I might cut down on them a little bit I've been doing them kind of weekly um, recently and I think I might, I might cut back on that just a little bit because not everything that comes out weekly I want to buy so I might just go for the ones that I really really want and tell me what you want what you really really want um so I might just uh start doing that and they might start to be less weekly I'll still I still enjoy doing them and I'll still definitely do them they just might be a little bit less frequent um but on that note we got Captain Marvel we talked a little bit about that with my brother Jordan which sorry for the fake face reveal uh I asked him before if he wanted to do it he said yes when we finished doing it he said you know what I don't really want to do it after all and I respect that he's still in school he's much more accessible to ridicule so uh I just did that fun little edit uh to uh, keep him happy. Uh, but we also picked up the Classic Monsters Collection, which apparently is a Walmart exclusive. They had something like this out during Halloween time that was like $170. And I was like, whoa, I want to watch those, but not that bad. 
So this was much, much cheaper, and it comes with Dracula, Frankenstein, The Mummy, Invisible Man, Bride of Frankenstein, and Wolfman. The only one I've seen is The Wolfman. I really enjoyed The Wolfman, actually, so I'm looking forward to checking these out. And, um, you know, they're old, they're classic, and I want to check them out. They're kind of cheesy, corny, little dated, but you know what? Uh, the Wolfman was still fun, so I, I'm curious to see how the other ones are. Yeah. Anyway guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video and checking out my channel and joining me for another Blu-ray pickup. Once again, my name is Zachary Milne. Thank you for talking movies with me and hope you have yourself a great day.